Yo, it's your boy Jacob Fun Time with another Clash Royale video. I know, two times in a row. I think two times in a row. Well, today, this video is going to be about the power of the witch. Like, you guys know about the Three Musketeers, right? Well, this one's going to be called the Three Witches. So, okay, uh, uh, let me show the first video. Okay, here we are, guys, against, uh, uh, Scorpion0084, so, so, this is, remember, just keep an eye on the witches, this, this is level 6, remember that, so I deployed, I put the witch on the right side, because I thought he was only going to deploy the dragon, so here we go, I played the barbarians, and I put my, my baby dragon, while his baby dragon distracted, so, so uh, my baby dragon take out his baby dragon and also the splash damage for the giant. And I didn't realize the barbarians are out taking my witch, so I had to drop up my spirit. Uh, my well, I thought I dropped up my goblins, but I, I didn't. I dropped my minions, so the spirit, the goblins are taken out by the barbarians. So then there's two pushes on each side. I mean the minions are not really a big push. Then but he deploys knight. I'm deploying my both of my goblins, go, go, goblins. While on the right side, those minions took out a couple hundred. Pip up health on his right tower. So now he here he goes again with another giant. And then I go I'm gonna deploy my witch so to help the skeletons and the the witch's splash damage. And he's gonna throw a fireball and hit my witch, but luckily didn't take it out. I'm gonna also drop my baby dragon so the the giant doesn't get to our tower. And also the baby dragon to tank for our witch. And then now the baby dragon's gonna come out. I also throw some arrows to take out the baby, baby dragon, and also here comes some spirit goblins, but also splash damage on the baby from the witch and the baby dragon. Now I'm gonna throw some goblins to hopefully tank for the witch, so it doesn't get targeted yet. And we are gonna take out a couple more hundred on that left tower. And here he goes with some barbarians. What I'm gonna do is throw on my mini horde because barbarians can't reach air air units. So there we go, pounding on, banging on those barbarians. That did not sound right. Sorry. And then we, we go to wait to double elixir. Here we goes again with the giant. I'm gonna drop up my witch, and I'm gonna drop up my giant. That was his mistake. He threw a fireball. We should threw on my witch, which is near the king, my crown tower. I mean, I, I sh you shouldn't drop to the fireball anyway. So I'm, I'm just gonna do this mad push right here. I'm also gonna drop off my minion horde. Then. As you see again, we have our witch again. So what I'm gonna do is drop up my witch again. So we have two witches now. And then he had to drop out a giant again. Now I was gonna do double of the skeleton, and again he missed my witches. So then I'm gonna drop on my spear golems. He dropped off his um baby dragon. And we were, we were gonna take that out with no with ease. Then we're gonna take out his king tower. Then we're gonna drop off our dragon and again we have our witch so we're gonna drop a uh, three witches guys that's right three witches like go wee weave send no goms and it's for a dragon that's right guys three witches the power of the three witches they give you three crowns now roll the next video here we go again against Tony and then from the the royal gods and I'm still a constant threat, if you guys didn't know. So then, I'm going to drop off my witch. I think I do. I, I just built my elixir. I'm going to drop off my witch. Well, he's still building up his elixir. He's going to drop off his um, spirit goblin hut. Then I'm going to drop off my baby dragon for the splash damage. Well, he dropped off his minions. I'm going to drop off my spirit goblins to help tank for to help take off those, dra uh, those uh, goblins. Then now I'm going to drop off my bomber. This this is an old this is one of my old decks. I didn't have a bomber in my first one. This one's the older one, so that's why I have a bomber in this one. And I have a inferno also. I didn't have an inferno. Now I'm gonna place my my inferno. The it probably what if it, what if there was a multi-target inferno? That'd be awesome. Now, I my mistake was I should not drop those arrows. And now speed this up a little bit. I want to show you the good part. So let's speed it up. We go drop off our witch. And then he go drop barbarians, but our witch does splash damage. You should have waited to drop those barbarians on like on top of the witches. And then now we go drop our spirit goblins, goblins. 
Cause I didn't have a mini horde, so I couldn't. I didn't have. I didn't have a mini horde. So now you drop a mini Pekka, which takes up a couple hundred hit points off of our tower. And then you now we'll go drop our witch again. Arrows. Then we we'll go drop our barbarians to help clean up some stuff. Cause barbarians are really strong. And again, guys, we have a witch again. So then. Witches are really powerful because they spawn three skeletons at a time. And we're going to take out the right tower. And guys, look again. Look again. Oh, we have we have three witches on the board again. That is awesome. And now, as you see, guys, in slow motion, the final seconds of that video with the three witches just, just dominating that king tower, guys. And we get the three crown Woo! okay now this next video I mean this next um, battle is not is off topic but it was just so awesome I had to show it okay again this is not me this is a, this is also on our clan ca called Spasmatech and shout out to him this this attack was awesome He's a level four, and he what well, he's facing like Yishi is level four also. So he drop out the so Yishi drop off his baby dragon with some minions. Well, he drops off his giant and some witches. He's gonna leave that dragon. A dragons don't really do that much against like towers unless you just leave it alone. But then that dragon's gonna die uh, quickly. As you see, both the bottom right and the top left towers are really damaged, and they take it out. So now. He's, he's going this map push. He has his, his mini P.E.K.K.A. to go for the King, King Tower. And then then he's going to drop off his skeleton army to do some more work for him. And then that King Tower is about to go down with 159 health points. Now you see here, this fireball right here, if you, if you play it, look at this. One health left on the king tower guys one health i never saw that before that's so funny that it happened before that he just needs another fireball or just get to the tower so now let's see what happens he again this this attack was just awesome i liked it drop his 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 uh his uh minions so now let's get back to number speed watch this Two, two, two of the one of the minions got died. The other minion went to the the giant. But now watch this minion. Let's do it in slow motion now. This heroic minion almost died and took out the king tower. Like it's like the legend of the last minion. It's, it's like the it's like the Lava Puffs older um, cousins. Well, that's what I, all I want to show you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um. Yeah, see you in the next video.